It's Sarah from All Coin Best Ladies. So today we're gonna talk about one of the hot topics I think right now and being ETFs and then being approved or rejected. So I'm sure loads of you here is wondering what am I gonna talk about and what sort of a reasoning could I have. So stay tuned and let's get on with the topic. So not every situation that is considered bad for the cryptoverse is actually bad. No, like there are some things that first look like the end of the Bitcoin ETF only to deliver a bunch of silver linings that make one glad to be part of this amazing world we call cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. So on Thursday, July 26, the SEC came to reject what many thought was the CBOE Bitcoin ETF that everyone was anticipating to be decided on in the month of August. So what happened is that the recent gains of Bitcoin above 8,000 were pulled back as the crypto market were confused with which Bitcoin ETF was which. But as soon as the air was cleared, many rejoiced at this rejection as shall be explained today. So firstly, the Cryptoverse was made aware of, of this and at the SEC when one commissioner disagreed publicly with the decision to reject the Vinkables ETF. This ETF, also known as the BAT ATF, was actually a revision of a filing the twins had made back in 2016. This was the second time it was being rejected by the SEC. In a letter to the public, Commissioner Hester M. Pierce stated the following. I respectfully dissent from the Commission's order disapproving a proposed rule change as amended to list and trade shares of the Winklevoss Bitcoin Trust on BAT's BZX exchange incorporated BZX. I believe that the proposed rule change satisfies the statutory standard and that we should permit BZX to list and trade this Bitcoin-based exchange-traded product. So Mrs. Pierce has been welcomed to the crypto community, obviously with an open arms, since making these remarks. Her Twitter following continues to grow exponentially since the news broke, and she has been given a title sort of a crypto man, for she embodies the strength of what it means to be a mother for the you know crypto community, because she is sort of overlooking over us. A second reason why the rejected Winklevoss ETF is a good thing is the fact that the BTC has proved once again that it can waste a major fat on its journey through the current bull run. Right after the announcement and chaos that followed, the BTC fell to 7,900. But it has since regained its feed and it's trading at 8,000... 147 at the moment of the video and the stage is obviously set for a 10,000 value at least to be hit pretty soon and what do you guys think do you guys think that the whole ETF is highly overhyped and you're just following what Vitalik Buterin has said today about it that we should focus more on the abilities rather than the whole hype and the price of it or do you guys think that this is just the beginning of a new journey for all of us crypto adapters? So guys, let me know what you think in the comments and I'm gonna let you know my last reason. So we know that the CBOE sponsored Bitcoin ETF will most likely be postponed due to the public backlash the SEC is receiving after rejecting the BATS ETF. This means they will be forced to recalibrate their defenses for the CBOE ETF. Also to note is that the BAT ETF has been rejected twice, meaning the Winklevoss have the right idea for a Bitcoin ETF, but failed to execute as they did with the popular social platform that made them famous. Perhaps the CBOE is the Mark Zuckerberg of crypto and they have the magic touch to guarantee an approval, no matter how long the SEC postponed a verdict. So to conclude it, it was a quick opinionated video and I'm just gonna hope you, just en you guys enjoyed it and you understand that the rejected BAT ETF filed by the Winklevoss twins at first caused the panic and is absolutely understandable in the crypto market. But upon closer analysis of the events that were followed with Commissioner Hester and Pierce, who has been given the title of the crypto mom on Twitter, we're also now aware of the possible postponement of a decision of the CBOE ETF. With regards to the latter, we're now prepared for the waiting game with the SEC. So game on. So guys, remember to subscribe to Welcome Bus Ladies. Leave a comment letting me know what you guys think will happen in the upcoming weeks, actually, I should say. Let me know what sort of an issue would you like me to discuss next. And remember to follow us at All Coin Bus Ladies. If you like my style of posting and just opinions, follow me at All Coin Sarah. 
I obviously post loads of different things and share all the videos I've made. So it's a good way to stay in touch with me. And if you've got any questions, obviously feel free to comment or hear me on messages on Twitter. And before we finish, let's have a look on my market cap and see what's going on. So we've got market cap of 291 billion. Like I said, Bitcoin is remaining strong around 8,200, exactly 149 today. Ethereum is 455 and Ripple is 44 cents. And the top gainers for today will be Polymath, Algor, Ethereum Classic still killing it, Metaverse, ETP, and Monaco, and Moac. So to all of you who hodl it, I'm sure you'll be very excited, especially seeing that the market is experiencing a sell-off. So it's always good to have some positivity. And the biggest losers that have on the bit of a negative note finished this video today, we've got Mithril, Bitcoin Gold, Tenex, and Tron. So I guess the acquisition of BitTorrent is not exactly paying off as they thought it would. So anyway, guys, I'll leave my opinion about Tron alone and all the other cryptos. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye bye.